Sam Katz with Gallery Glass, and I'm here today speaking with Fountain Art Fair producer Elizabeth Tully and Bushwick-based artist Christopher Stout. Process. Please tell me a little bit about it. Oh, sure. Um, so I moved to San Francisco like right around Y2K because I literally loved being in the arts, but my work was very much um, abstract, figurative, and looked very much like all the art like that was hanging in the museums where I grew up in Washington D.C. And so I went to San Francisco to figure it out, and um, it was kind of this magical place where you can make mistakes and learn things and I literally it was literally trial and error and I tried photography and painting and performance and you know everything was like something new and then um, I went through this really hard time in my life where I was working at a gallery and the gallery went under and I started working um, out of necessity at a place at, you know in corporate America and the amazing thing about that was I was able to get out of debt thing about that was, you know, at the end of about a year of my life, I had nothing left, but these like shredded documents in like the, you know, like bagging shredded documents from like all the work that I had done. And um, it was kind of a very California approach to it, but I was like, this paper, like I have to clean it back. I need to like take it into my studio and make something with it and like turn it back into my having a soul again. And that was the beginning of the lexicon of my, of my work, and my work today is shredded conceptual writing and bound with cement and pigment and all kinds of things in this wonderful sort of industrial paper mache um, on linen on board. But that was the story of how, how like where it started from. When you moved here from San Francisco in 2007, what drew you to New York, specifically Bushwick? Oh, um, well, I think being drawn to New York was kind of obvious because there are just 
you know, a few places in the world, much less America, where people can like, live in the arts, work in the arts. Like even when I lived in San Francisco, people's first question is, oh, that's amazing. What do you really do? You know, and it's really frustrating. And so, you know, have, being close to, you know, the New York Museum community and the gallerist community and all those other components of what makes art so spectacular in New York was the first thing. Um, you know, I had a studio in Dumbo for a little while, but then there was this sort of like amazing buzz and energy about like people that are real artists, people that are interesting, people that are like making work and doing things that are so diverse and like, um, but with a sense of community, like that's happening here. And so, you know, I um, quickly started like reaching out and networking and looking for places and of all places I found this on Craigslist. And I've been here um, for about three and a half years and I've done three pictures within three years. Now, Elizabeth, this will be Christopher's first time exhibiting at Fountain Art Fair. What drew you to his work? Well, um, you know, we're always trying to uh, showcase the best of what's fresh and, uh, you know, amazing in this market and getting in touch with Bushwick Open Studios and trying to um, mobilize people to show us what they think is, is awesome because, you know, a lot of times it's, you're getting like a curated taste from somebody else's point of view. We really want to get out in the streets and talk to people and see what they were really digging. So um, then working with you and leading down this path, now we're here, and it's so exciting to see the work in the studio and hear about how it's made, and it's just, I'm really um, excited to showcase your work and, um, you know, turn you on to a whole new audience. You've seen Christopher's work in the studio space. How do you think, in the context of Fountain Art Fair, it will relate to its neighboring exhibitors? Well, I think, uh, you know, we work with people who, I'm always really interested as, um, as one of the curators of the show, people who have a really interesting process. And I think that that's something that a lot of people relate to. And we're always trying to promote people having an engaging experience through art. So to, to have the, these pieces and to hear the background of how they're made and what they mean to you, and then people can like, project those like feelings onto you know, their, own, their own kind of feelings onto them. And that's always like an awesome thing. I think that it's going to do very well. All right. Thank you, Christopher Stout, Elizabeth Tully. This is Sam Katz with Gallery Glass. Now give us a kiss.